Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I've been invited down to Riders in Bristol to take a look at a 2018 model Harleys. Um, so I'm gonna have a quick look at those, show you around the place, and we'll have a look at the new bikes. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I wasn't invited. Um, my email address is obviously on like a mailing list, and I got an email, and they said to come down, so... Shut up. I don't know if you can see the bikes behind me, all covered up. Uh, so that actually is like a proper unveiling. So it's quite a, quite a special moment. Feels like something big's about to happen. I can talk a little bit about the fat bob. That's the bike I'm going to concentrate on because that's the one that I had before, I had the previous model. So this one is the 114 cubic inch, um, comes in the 107 and the 114. Now the main differences are, going from the back you've got this number plate holder, which is uh, wasn't on the last one. It's got rid of this, uh, the last one had those hideous caravan lights, that does make a big difference because the old ones were disgusting. Uh, different exhaust system, the end pipes point up slightly which is a bit different uh, something that is quite noticeable which is different is you've got upside down forks at the front uh, before they were just standard forks it's supposed to, supposed to be better it's supposed to be more responsive it's supposed to improve the performance of the bike and then look something else is pretty noticeable is you've got the new light which is completely different uh, as opposed to the twin headlight I'll be honest it looks cool but I think it looks like Bender from uh, Futurama a little bit. Uh, you got twin brakes on the front. Uh, previously you had just the single brakes, these are the twin. So you are going to get a better, better stop and power. The brakes on the old bike were hideous, like 100% hideous. So that is a welcome change. Uh, you've also got the adjuster for the suspension. Um, so it's essentially the same, but it's just a little bit easier to adjust. Uh, the last one was a pain in the ass. Something I do quite like about this tank though is the little ghost emblem that does look pretty sweet. I don't know if you can see that. Just a bottle. It's a little touch like that which definitely has uh, improved the look of the bike. See now listening to that, I think it sounds quite fluffy. Um, again, it's probably because it's got standard pipes. Um, that's just an example of you are going to want to update them straight away. I don't know if you can see the new brake up behind me. Um, I don't know an awful lot about the bike. All I do know is that those wheels are hideous. The last ones were awesome. They were huge. Uh, Jack, my boss, he's got the, the brake out. It's so much nicer. The, the, the wheels on that were nicer. Um, these look a bit... Not for me. Well, I've got the footage that I think I wanted. Um, I just wanted to have a look at the Fat Bob, to be honest, because that's the only bike that's got any context for me because um, it's the last bike I had. Overall impression, um, like it's hard because I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be fair. I'm not Harley's biggest fan, so um, I think they've made an effort to make things look more aggressive, which is cool. I welcome that. Um, apparently they've tried to improve on performance as well, so you've got the upside down forks, you've got the better brakes, easier access to the suspension, all little practical measures which do help. I don't know, though. I mean you're paying 15 grand again for a bike that my bike out accelerate in any gear, so it's, it's hard, it depends what you want out of biking, but yeah, enjoyable night, if you enjoyed my video, like, subscribe, uh, Rim me, whatever in it, just uh, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Have fun.